Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Concepts, the show where we discuss things that will be useful for your one command creations. So what do I have here? This is a randomizer. I will explain right now. So you'll notice right here, three out of seven times, exactly three out of seven times, a wither skeleton will be spawned when I place this skeleton down. Now how am I doing this? Well, first of all, I'm just going to explain this little part here. The iron blocks means nothing happens, and that's what the, um, the ends mean, with the n equals 1, n2, n3. This is just a, a simple say command that gets activated when the system picks that armor stand. This one, these two gold blocks, is when it decides, yes, let's pick a random skeleton and turn it into a wither. wither. Um, only a random skeleton that has just spawned. And this diamond block says, let's turn everything that just spawned into a wither skeleton in that instance. So, to elaborate on this, if multiple things spawn at once, there is a 1 in 7 chance that they will all be affected with the wither. Except it's actually not 1 in 7, it is a lot more than that. I will explain that later. I have used binomials to calculate this for you. And... If you don't know what a binomial is, well today's your lucky day, you get to do some really advanced maths with me. And yes, it will be fun, I promise. So, out of the other times, so that time all of them are, have been affected. Now this time only two of them have been affected. Alright, let's do one more. Oh, actually, can we have something different where only one of them are affected, please? So most of the time they do spawn in groups, just because of the way this has been set up. There we go, so now only one out of the five has been affected. So, how does this work, you're probably asking. Well, every, every single entity has a life score that being added to them constantly, right? And when that life score reaches one, and is less than one, so the moment it spawns, it will execute from that thing, which is not an armor stand, by the way, um, that can be changed if you want, but in this case, I've just said not one. And it will pick an, a random entity with a type of armor stand. If you do not specify the type, then it will look for a player, and we do not want that in this case. And it's looking for an armor stand called xSelect. And it picks a random armor stand, and it sets the block below it with redstone. A tick later, it sets it back to air. So, what are these things doing? Let's say a redstone block picks this armor stand. What it will do, it will take the entity data of a random skeleton that just spawned, so x life equals 2, can't do equals 1 because this actually happens a tick later, and then it changes its skeleton type to wither. Same with the one here, it's a random one. This one I've picked at E, which means all skeletons that just spawned would have their type changed, and the rest do absolutely nothing. So how would this be useful in your adventure maps? Well. You can actually use binomials to calculate the probability of things happening. In this instance, there's roughly a 70% chance that they will all be affected when spawned, just like that. And you also notice when the selection process occurs, it does not affect any of the nearby entities. So there's a 40% chance that all the skeletons will be affected with the wither. So how did I calculate this? Well, firstly, I'm going to show you a table of probabilities. And then I'm going to explain to you how I came up with those numbers. So if you were to use this system, a good way to keep track of the probability of success is by using binomials in a graph or table. Let me explain. A binomial is where something is either true or is it or it isn't. So if you have 10 command blocks and only one of them is successful, then you can say your probability of success is 1 over 10, or 0 0.1. And this is what I have on the left-hand side of the table. I've got my probability of success. So if I have, let's say, 6 command blocks that are successful out of 10, my probability, my probability of success will be 0 0.6. Now on the top is the number of instances that spawn. So if one thing spawns, and the probability of success is 0 0.2, then the probability that your entity will be successful 
and will change into a wither skeleton for the, in this instance, that probability will be 20%. So I've constructed this table. In the green is when x, the probability of x is greater than 75%, in which case this command is probably useless. And then in the yellow, I've got the mid-range, and then in the red, it's a very low chance of happening, less than 30%, or in this case, 30% or less. So, let's delve into this more. If you are going to create a custom map where more than three entities are going to be spawned at once, so let's say four entities will be spawned at once in this case, you want to avoid probabilities higher than 0 0.3. The reason being is that it's just so high of a probability that you may as well not even have the system there. So, if you were to have something where, the prob where you've only got two things spawning at once, then I wouldn't suggest using a probability higher than 50%. And that's why I've made this table. If this confuses you, just don't worry about it. Look at the table and look at how many mobs that might be spawning and your probability of success. And this is in imp intervals of 10%. And then you will be okay. Don't click out of the video. I'm not done with you yet. So I'm going to go over this briefly. This is for people who are really advanced at maths. N is basically the number of entities spawning at once. X is how many you want to spawn. P is the probability of success. So how many command blocks of success out of how many command blocks that are actually there. And the P is your total probability. So if you wanted to find the probability that one thing out of five will spawn and your probability is 0 0.1, then you'd go five, choose one, multiply by 0 0.1 and so on. And that is all I'm going to cover because I can see you crying of boredom. I'm going to move on. So let me just give one more application of this system. So I've made it so a skeleton when spawning has one in seven chance of spawning a zombie, a one in seven chance of spawning a creeper, a one in seven chance of summoning a spider and a four out of seven chance that nothing will happen. So here goes. Nothing, creeper, nothing, 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 creeper, 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 spider, nothing, spider, creeper, creeper. Let's see if we can get a zombie here. There we go. So these are cool applications. They wouldn't be very useful in map making unless you want a rogue style game where it's completely randomly generated. And it can also be used in one command creations if you want to summon a specific mob like 3% of the time or 10% of the time. So there you have it. Thank you very much for making it this far in the video. I understand it's very complex, but if you don't care about the maths and only care about the system, then there's always that as well. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy my new microphone quality that was given to me as a present by someone who I won't mention due to privacy issues on YouTube, but thank you very much. I do appreciate it. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.